And she literally sent me my photo on a supplier's page, a lash supplier's page. They erased my watermark, you guys. It was a picture of my orders. It was watermarked. It's getting to the point where they're even... Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Y'all should already know who it is, or you should know who it is, the CEO of I Tasty. If you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. If you are not new, welcome back. If you did not know, I sell lashes. I wholesale lashes. I have on my colored lashes in the color pink. These are available for wholesale and retail. I have 27 lash options on my website. Hopefully, by the time this video goes up, I haven't added another option because I'm in the works of adding. But... As of right now, today, I have 27 lash options. Everything's on hand, ready to ship. Don't mind my empty cubbies. My customers have been clearing me out. I do still have inventory in stock. I just haven't had a chance, and I still got orders to work on. But anyways, this video is kind of like a story time slash rant on people constantly stealing my photos, you guys. So, as recent, like, this has been happening to me, y'all, for the past since I've started my business. So since I have started my business, you guys, I've had people constantly stealing my photos. And the thing is, when I first started my business, I would watermark what I posted on Instagram, but I did not watermark what I would post on my website because I felt like it looked ugly. Like I didn't how I didn't like how my watermark looked on the purses, for example, on my website. So I would only watermark my actual Instagram post. And then it was getting to the point where this female copied my entire website, you guys, y'all. She copied my entire website, like, all my photos, same layout, same everything. And y'all want to, and then another female, y'all want to know how I found her? One of my customers tagged me in a post wearing my lashes. So just imagine one of your customers tags you in a photo of her wearing your lashes. She had on some cute shorts. And she tagged the person who she got the shorts from. And I was like, oh, that's cute. And it's from another small business. Let me go buy some. I want to support. Y'all, I clicked the at name to go on this person's page to buy some shorts. And guess what I see? All my pictures. All my pictures. This girl even copied my order picture. And like I said, I didn't, I never used to watermark my order pictures because I did not believe that people will really steal your order photos. Like, I really sat here and it, it took hours to pack these orders. When I started my business, y'all, I'm still working my full time job. I was working my full time job. So it was to the point where I was working from like 5.30 in the morning or 6.30 in the morning to 7.30 at night. 12, 13 hour shifts, coming home, packing orders, trying to do schoolwork. And for me to sit here and be doing all of this and somebody stealing my photos that I took the time, like, that really made me feel like, wow, like, that's crazy. But like I said, people will really steal your order pictures. And... I was going on this person's page, y'all, to support and shop just to see her copy my caption word for word. I'm up at 2 a.m. packing y'all's orders. Um, I'm up at 2 a.m. And y'all, I'm going to post a bunch of receipts in this video. So y'all don't think I'm just talking like, I'm up at 2 a.m. packing y'all's orders. Y'all, I was up at 2 a.m. And this female was saying that she was up and it was just like... Wow. So from that point on, I started watermarking my order pictures. But then when it comes to the topic of this video, y'all, one of my customers sent me an email. And that's what be so funny. People know my photos. Whether they shop with me or not, they still email, they still message me when somebody's using my stuff. This happened to be a customer. Sent me an email and she literally sent me my photo on a supplier's page, a lash supplier's page. They erased my watermark, you guys. It was a picture of my orders. It was watermarked. It's getting to the point where they're even stealing watermarked photos. So it's like, I'm sure people are not going to see this whole video and be like, this is why you should watermark. This is why you should watermark. My stuff be watermarked. Back then, I wasn't watermarking anything, but I learned my lesson. And even now, there are other ways for people to edit your photos to still use your same pictures. I don't know how they're doing it. 
but this supplier erased my logo and you can still see my logo somewhat in the photo if you knew my picture you would see the logo in there and then they tried to put a text over where my logo was and my customer sent me the screenshot of their page and the exact photo from my page so I messaged them to delete my stuff they deleted it immediately but the fact that they even said and this is an overseas supplier y'all an overseas supplier in China stealing my photos so now let's not even talk about the photos y'all of people constantly stealing my photos if you've been following me y'all remember the girl who um they took one of my pictures with me in it and they were trying to sell ebooks to people i found out about that from a follower a follower reached out to me and was like hey girl um i just want to know that this is legit because i know i can trust you da 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 and she was like, did the ebook really, did the ebook really help you? And I was like, what ebook? She sent me a screenshot. Somebody had my picture with all my orders on their page with a testimony from me saying, thank you guys so much for this ebook. It really helped me. Excuse me. It really helped me grow my business. I'm going to purchase one for my sister. And y'all, the taste again blocked and reported their page. Their page is gone. But it's just crazy the things that people do thinking that it's not going to get back to you. So, getting to the Chinese suppliers, y'all. I got these U.S. lash vendors mad at me. I got these overseas. But that just only proves that I'm out here doing my thing, y'all. I'm not worried about nobody. I'm not going on nobody's page trying to copy what they're doing. I've been doing me for the past two plus years. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. But the fact that people are so mad... That my business is flourishing is so crazy like this this Chinese supplier literally sent out emails to a whole bunch of my customers and the subject of their email was better wholesale prices than I tasty something like that but it had I tasty in it and then they in the subject they claim they have better prices than me so you're really going through my followers list going on their websites, getting their emails, and sending all of them emails. And from one of the screenshots that I got that I'm going to show y'all, you can see all my other customers that they sent the emails to. And I'm just like, wow. And then the other people who I see and I recognize their names, they ended up sending it to me too. And it's just like, why do you have to mention me? You're not even in the U.S. and you got to mention my business. For you to try and get a possible sale, I would never try and, you know, I would never try and, and gain, take somebody else's customers by using their name attached to it. I want you to genuinely shop with me. And that's another thing. People be so concerned about a quick order. I've never been about a quick order. I want a returning customer. I want somebody, you're not just going to shop with me once. You're going to shop with me again and again and again and again. And we are for life. Like, you stuck here. You're not going nowhere. Like, one of the orders I packed the other day, it was her 24th time ordering with me, y'all. She started shopping in September. My business anniversary, it is January. This video might be up in February, though. But October, November, December, four months, and she's already placed 24 orders. So it's like, that's what I want. I want returning customers, y'all. I love returning customers. I'm not just about a quick sale. And it's just crazy, y'all, how these people steal my photos. I even had one girl purchase from me once, and she stole my inventory pictures from TikTok. She cropped it, erased my watermark, erased the TikTok thing. And then you have in your bio that you're the number one U.S. lash plug. And my thing is... If you want to go, I, I'm the number one lash plug. Just how, like, y'all know in the music industry, how these rappers, they claim they're the number one rapper, they're the GOAT. You have the right to feel like you're number one if you feel like number one. But when I say it, I say it with my chest. I am the number one U.S. lash plug. Ain't nobody out here selling lashes as like me for as long as me. I've been doing this for two plus years, y'all. Sub supplying the same businesses, same lashes, 27 lash options, ready to ship. I also have lash products, everything available for wholesale, retail. Let's not talk about the lash books, lash applicators, five colors, all options, ready to ship. Lash brushes, three options, all ready to ship. Liners, lash glue, mascara, wholesale, retail. Ain't nobody out here doing it like me. Like, I'm not even trying to be cocky when I say that. I'm just seriously saying that. 
and nobody trying to like I only see myself so the fact that people it's okay people will really out here like other US lash vendors will copy what I have in my bio word for word I had to block one girl word for word what I have in my bio y'all word for word number one US lash plug lash one stop lash business shop copy my sales I did a 20 for 35 sale somebody commented my 20 cop copy my 20 for 35 sale who else y'all know was out here having a 20 for 35 sale who else y'all know be having two dollar lash sales because I taste is really the home of the two dollar lash sales I've been doing two dollar lash sales probably since maybe a year and a half now but like I said, it's just crazy, and they be watching my page. Like, every time an overseas supplier reaches out, automatic block. Any last automatic block, because they sit here and watch my page. And if my customers wouldn't have sent it to me, y'all, I would not have known. So it's like, it's crazy the fact that all these people are trying to plot, steal my customers, or whatever they're trying to do, bring my business down, say my stuff is not quality stuff. But if you go on my website... The results speak for itself. I have a very high returning customer rate. I have so many customers. I'm reliable. Like, y'all, it's just so crazy, y'all. It's just so crazy. And like I said, especially with these overseas suppliers, because it's like you're not even in the U.S. And the fact that you're, and they're not, those those two people that I'm speaking on are not the first to do it. The person that erased my watermark, then the person that was emailing with my name in the email, y'all, I was so shook. I was so shook. I couldn't believe it. But like I said, it just has me thinking like, wow, I'm out here just thinking I'm selling lashes and doing what I do. But apparently to other people, they have me on a pedestal. Because with me, y'all know I am down to earth. <laughs> I am a regular person out here. I am a regular person running a business. I run my business i still work my full-time job like a regular person i get up in the morning go to work come home work on my business almost every day i'm, I'm a regular person with a business with a six-figure business and i'm still working my job so like i said in my mind i'm a regular person i don't see myself better than anybody i don't see myself above anybody even when it comes to wholesale and lashes if you want to wholesale lashes cool like your customers are not my customers and that's like in the previous video that i did target audience whether your wholesaler lashes is watching this video your your target audience is not my target audience we are two different people we're not we're not we don't have the same target audience it's like even if you copy off everything that you see me doing with my business, you're not going to get the same results as somebody. Just because you copy off of what someone else does does not guarantee the same results. And if people watch this person, like with me, I don't, I have so many, yeah, when I check my Instagram, I probably should screenshot it now so I can up, upload this in the clip. When I check my Instagram, y'all, I've had 7,804 people visit my Instagram profile within the last seven days. Over 7,000 people, y'all, visited my business Instagram in the last seven days. Did they follow? No. <laughs> Did they shop? No, because I didn't have 7,000 orders. But the fact that over 7,000 people viewed my Instagram, like I said, people are watching. And that's why I tell y'all... Don't ever stop promoting your business. And when I say that, I'm not telling y'all to, you know, spam and flood the timeline with a whole bunch of stuff. No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is don't ever get discouraged because your post is not getting enough likes. Because that used to be me. I was once that person. I post on Facebook. Y'all, a lot of y'all know my story. Little to no likes, no likes, a few likes. And even if I did receive likes, it was from people that I don't know. It was from strangers that I met in other Facebook groups. So... Best believe people are watching. If I would have never seen that message at the top of my Instagram, I would have never thought that over 7,000 people have visited my profile within the last week. Like, that's never something that would have crossed my mind. Like, oh, I wonder how much people be. Because like I said, y'all, I'm just living life. <laughs> I go to work. I work on my business. I try to go out, like, not a lot, but just, you know, to clear my head and get away from everything because I'm always working. Like, I'm legit always working when I say that I'm not complaining I love working I love to always be occupied I love to always be doing something and I'm, I'm a very productive person like now today is January 27th the day I'm recording this video is January 27th this video is not going to go up on my channel till February I don't know what day in February but 
I'm productive. I got a flight to catch in a few hours. I got orders to pack. But I just want to have videos already recorded because I have a list of videos to record in my phone. So every day that I do do my makeup, I try to record at least two videos just so that keeps me productive. So say if I record six videos in a week, I try to upload two to three videos a week. That's like three weeks already covered on YouTube content. Edit these videos tonight when I get to New York. I'm going to edit these videos in the hotel. When I'm free, I'm going to just edit these videos. Upload them if the Wi-Fi fast. If it's not fast, the videos will just be edited, sitting on my laptop. When I get back to Dallas, upload them. Thumbnails are already going to be ready. And we just going to have it sitting on the channel. So they will do what they do, okay? So... Yeah, I want to make this video too long. This is not like a negative video or nothing like that. All positive vibes over here. But I just really wanted to just talk about these these overseas suppliers, these U.S. like constantly stealing. Because it's like I've never copied nobody. From the minute I started my business, yes, I did watch a few people on YouTube that were my inspiration as far as like, wow, they're really doing their thing. But as far as copying them, I ne I've never copied. Nobody can sit here and say that I've copied them. I've never, I've like, I've legit been in my own lane. I've sold so many stuff throughout this business journey, clothes, hair, hairpins, headbands, purses. I've sold so much stuff, but when it comes to lashes, I've always been in my own lane. And it's just crazy. That's why now I don't even speak on the other things I got coming for my business because they're watching. They probably watching this video right now, just got their pen and paper ready, just, just ready to see what I got going on next. And it's like, you ain't gonna find it here. <laughs> Don't be liking on my videos. At least subscribe. At least subscribe. Like, at least subscribe. But y'all, that's really all I wanted to say in this video. Like, like I said, people are watching. Don't ever stop promoting your business. Because at the end of the day, they're not stopping nothing. Of course, there's nothing I can do. If an overseas supplier or even a U.S.-based supplier decides to DM my customers, it's really nothing I can do. When I find, find out, yes, I can block them. But that just shows you, like, you got to keep... Like, like I said, to me, I'm a regular person. But to these people, they, they see me on such a pedestal that the fact that you have to go through to those lengths to eat, go on my customers' websites and email them... That means that you literally had to go on their website. Because I asked her, I was like, your, your email's not in your bio. So they legit have been doing their research. They went on all these people's websites, all found their email addresses, and sent a, created a whole email thread. With It's just like the lengths that these people are going, y'all. Like, the time you're taking to do that... You could have been taken to find you some more customers. The time that you're taking to go through my following and DM or email my customers, you could have used that time for something else. <laughs> like, okay, but that's pretty much it for this video, y'all. I'm going to try to get all my receipts together to upload them in this video for y'all for y'all to see everything I'm talking about. As I'm talking about it, if you're not subscribed... Hit that subscribe button. Don't be lurking on here. Okay? Don't be lurking on the number one U.S. Lash Pugs videos. Make sure you're following on all my pages. All my stuff is I Tasty Across. Instagram, TikTok. Especially on TikTok. Be sure to follow me on TikTok. All the positive vibes. TikTok be lit. And I'm on TikTok pretty much almost every day. If not every day, every other day or when I can. But I'm really active on TikTok. I love TikTok. So you can catch me live on TikTok and, you know, say hello. Like I said, positive vibes only because my moderators be ready to block. <laughs> my moderators stay ready to block. Like, they be on that block button. So don't come in there with no... If you do decide to follow on TikTok, positive vibes only or you will be forcefully removed. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to just kind of rant about that. Like, my friend told me I should do a video on it, so I just kind of wanted to rant about that. I know some of my customers going to be in the comments like, girl, we're not going nowhere and stuff like that, because that's all they be saying, but I'm not really bothered about it. I just wanted to do a video and show everyone, you know, what goes on behind the scenes. Like, it's not like, you know, I'm on here trying to throw a pity party and be like, y'all shop with me. That's not what this video is. I just wanted to show y'all what's going on behind the scenes. Like, because... Uh, y'all all probably don't see it. I do post it on my Instagram. I don't really post stuff like this on my business page. I will post it on my personal. But 
not everybody sees it. So like I said, I just wanted y'all to see like what really be going on behind the scenes and it's crazy. But yeah, that's it. <laughs>